Hi friends, welcome to Read Aloud. Um, this is day one of our uh, distance learning Read Aloud. Um, before we get started, I'm sure all you're going to hear this from all of your teachers today, is that we miss you guys. Um, we really wish that we could be in school and we could be doing this with all of you together. Um, but because we can't, we're still going to make sure that you guys are growing your brains as much as possible and we appreciate you taking that ownership and that control over your own learning too. So we're going to give you some shine right there. Um, so before we get started with our read aloud book today, I'm going to explain a little bit how read aloud is going to go because it's going to be a little different from how it's done in class. Um, so the f in your either packet or um, the folder online, you will see pages that are labeled for each day. So the page that the pages that go with today say read aloud for Wednesday um, 318 and it says Julie Black Belt on it. That's the book that we're going to read. There are two um, pages that you guys will have to fill out. So there's going to be one page that we fill out together as I read the book to you guys and then just like there is every day for read aloud in class, there's going to be an exit ticket as well. So throughout the story, I'll pause and I'll ask you guys questions. Um, and then you guys should pause the video to write them down um, in on the sheet that you're filling out as we're reading together. Then on the flip side of that sheet, where it has all of the, uh, all of the lines, um, that will be your exit ticket. Um, for your exit tickets, for um, there will be one question that you have to, or one or two questions that you'll have to answer. Um, we want you to use complete sentences, because um, that's good practice. And we want you to use your very best handwriting and try your very hardest, um, just like you would in class. Um, so, let's get started. The first book that we're going to read is called... Julie Black Belt, A Belt of Fire. Um, now, looking at this book, I'm just going to flip through some of the pages. It's a little bit difficult on camera, but I'm going to flip through some of the pages. Look at your sheet in front of you. Based on what you're seeing in this book right now, what do you think the genre is? So I'm seeing drawings, I'm seeing some thought bubbles, take a minute right now to write down what you think the genre is. Pause the video here and write it down. Alright, now that you've written that down, let's get started and we can see whether you were right. Julie Black Belt. The Belt of Fire. Crash! The Jade Crane soared into action. Like a whirlwind, she scattered her opponents like leaves. Dazed, the bandits stumbled out of the ancient temple. Aha! The Belt of Fire is finally mine, she declared. Not so fast! She spun and saw a strange warrior behind her. Whoever wears this belt can become the next master, warned White Dragon. Hand it over, or else. The startled heroine wondered what to do. Zap! Julie, finish watching that movie later, ordered her mother. Yeah, it's time for your kung fu class, added Dad. Aw, this is the best part, whined Johnny. His big sister reminded him, don't worry, Brandy Wu always finds a way. Quickly, Julie ran to her room to get dressed. Twice a week, she practiced martial arts after school. Julie proudly tied on her new yellow belt. It looked much better than the white one she started with. Now, we're going to pause right there. Now, you guys wrote down what genre you think the book is, or you answered it to yourself. Um, if you said that the genre is fiction, you would be correct. As you can see, there are illustrations 
um, the characters are cartoons. These aren't real people. So this story isn't teaching us something. It's telling us a story. So if you wrote down fiction, you would be correct. Um, now take a minute and think about who the main character of the story is. I'll flip back for the, a few pages so you can see. Also remember that in the folders that you guys found this link for the video, um, you can also ha uh, see copies of this book that you can follow along with. So I'll take a minute right now for you guys to write down who you think the main character is. Pause the video now. All right, so from looking at this text, you can tell that even though her name isn't the first one mentioned, that the main character is Julie. Julie is going to be our main character, and she is who the story is about. She's the one who, in, who is involved with the problem and the solution and all of the other story elements that we usually find throughout the story. But let's keep reading. After passing her first test, Julie liked Kung Fu more than ever. She enrolled because she admired the actress Brandy Wu. But soon, Julie developed her own skill. Now even Johnny wanted to earn a belt. At school, Dad took a seat as Julie and Johnny greeted their friends. Mr. Fong was their teacher, Sifu. He called everyone to line up and Julie was ready to go. But the doorbell rang and she turned around. So we're going to pause right there as well. The first thing you're going to do is answer the question that says, what do we know about the main character so far? Um, so this can be anything that we've learned from the last few pages that we've read. So pause the video right here. All right, let's get back to it. So things that we've learned about the character so far. We know that she loves Kung Fu. We know that she passed a test and now has a yellow belt. Um, and we also know how she's feeling at the beginning of the story. So, in your exit ticket today, you guys are going to be focused on character feelings. So let's think about how she's feeling right now. So take a minute to think to yourself, how is, she, how is Julie feeling right now? So I'm thinking that she is excited and enthusiastic about her kung fu. The book says that she loves kung fu. Look at her stance right here. She looks awfully confident and excited about her kung fu. She's even watching a kung fu movie. It seems like her entire life is all about kung fu. Oh, sorry I'm late, a boy apologized. He wore a different uniform but the same color belt as Julie's. Sifu waved and introduced him. This is Brandon. His family just moved into the neighborhood, so please welcome him. Julie, can you scoot over, asked Sifu. Brandon bowed, saluted, and went to the head of the class. Julie was surprised, but she whispered to her pal Chloe, let's show him a thing or two. The girls chuckled. However, Sifu got their attention when he stated, Okay, it's time to warm up. Quickly, the tiny tigers began the routine of stretching, jumping jacks, and running laps around the room. But when Sifu corrected Julie's posture, he praised his new student's punches. Brandon's loud shouts matched his crisp locks against Sifu's arm pad. When the hour was up, Julie's father noted, That boy has talent. So let's pause right there too. I forgot to ask you guys, what is the setting of the story? So based on the picture so far, what is the setting of the story? story?
So based on the pictures and where Julie goes throughout the story, you can tell that there are actually a couple of different settings. Um, there is the studio that Julie trains in, and there's also her home. When the book takes place in multiple places, or in a few places that are all in the same area, um, that means that the setting is Julie's neighborhood, because all of these things are around where she lives. So let's keep going. Back at home, Mom asked, How is Kung Fu, Tiger? A new kid started today, Gus Johnny. He's way better than Julie. No, he's not, snapped Julie. To avoid worrying about it, she turned the Brandy Wu movie back on. Jade Crane dueled White Dragon, but neither noticed the dark shadow stealing the orange sash. Ha, it sneered. Thanks to your squabbling, you've both lost. Oh no, exclaimed Julie, and she couldn't watch anymore. Oops. Forgot to show you guys the pictures. At the next class, Julie vowed to do better, but felt like everyone was watching her. Brandon was nervous too. He wanted to prove himself and make new friends. Both found their movements didn't flow easily. Sifu counted, one, two, three, but noticed that Julie's steps and Brandon's forms were cautious. Julie sensed her head and her heart were in different places. She felt odd as the fun ticked away with each passing minute. Got to show you the pictures again. Usually I have friends remind me of this. So before we move on, we're going to think about what is the problem in this story? We know who the main character is, we know the setting, we know things about the main character. We need to think about what the problem is. What does the character want, and or what does Julie want, and what is getting in her way? Think about it now. All right, so we know that the problem in the story has to do with the main character. So the problem in the story definitely has to do with Julie. Now, at the beginning of the story, Julie felt really confident um, and excited and enthusiastic about her Kung Fu. But right now, it doesn't look like she's feeling that way. So the problem in the story is that she is feeling less confident about her kung fu since this new boy showed up and she's not performing as well as she would like to um so let's see how she solves the problem sifu's clap woke julie up i have special news he announced when i was your age my teacher was master zhao next week my sifu is coming to visit us so help me make a good impression. Julie thought, Sifu has never mentioned him before. Sifu marked his calendar and the students tidied the school. Julie imagined what extraordinary skill, knowledge, and character his master must possess. Soon came the day of Master Zhao's arrival. Parents and children waited eagerly. Finally, Sifu entered, holding his teacher's arm. Oh boy, thought Julie. The class greeted her respectfully. Good afternoon. Hello, Master Zhao smiled, but don't mind me. I'm here to watch. I'm borrowing one of her lessons to help you prepare for your next belt test, Sifu explained. Once she has signed me a training, or once, once she has signed me a training partner. It was hard at first, admitted Sifu, but she said, though sparks may fly, two blades can sharpen each other. A murmur rippled through the air as Sifu handed out slips of paper. Okay, see who your partner is. 
Juliet looked at her note and gasped. She glanced at Brandon, who also looked glum. How could she do well when facing off against him? This is terrible, thought Julie. She wondered, what would Brandy Wu do? So this also adds to the problem, because not only is Julie feeling less confident because this new boy joined the class, she now has to spar with the new boy. As matches were made, one couple got off on the wrong foot. Ow! cried Brandon as Julie banged his elbow. Watch out! yelled Julie as Brandon tripped over her leg. After observing a few awkward sessions, Master Zhao approached the pair. Sifu thinks you two need a change of scenery, she suggested. Tomorrow, let's meet outside at the park. Perfect. The next day, both kids wanted to show who was better, but Master Zhao advised, look before you leap, watch me first. She glided from one pose to another. She was calm, confident, and carefree, everything they were not. How did you get so good, Gus Julie? Master Zhao smiled. Kung Fu means strengthening your own discipline and ability. Concentrate on improving yourself and not impressing others. But Master Zhao is saying that, you, that they need to focus on themselves and what they're doing, not the other person. The following lessons went smoother. If you have a clear mind, reflected Master Zhao, then you can have clear movement. Soon, their energy returned. Brandon struck like a lion. Julie soared like an eagle. In their last week of training, they exercised like a team. You remind me of my two favorite students. Talented, but very competitive, recalled Master Zhao. Luckily, rivals can learn how to work together. Julie finished watching the movie as the dark shadow menaced, uh, menaced them. Jade... I'm going to pause right there and start again. <laughs> Julie finished watching the movie. As the Dark Shadow menaced them, Jade Crane made peace with White Dragon to tackle their common foe. Watching out for each other, they battled in swirling harmony. After their thrilling victory, their master approached them. Congratulations, she announced. I will guard the belt of fire, but give you these tokens to honor your achievement and friendship. Wow, they did it. So I'm seeing some similarities between um, Jade Crane and White Dragon and Julie and Brandon in this story. Finally, it was there. It was time for their orange belt test. At school, Mom, Dad, and Johnny met Brandon's parents. On the floor, Julie and Brandon stood side by side, waiting for Sifu's signal. Begin. Let's go. Nodded Brandon. Julie and Brandon sprung from stances into fast sweeps. Pounding the floor, they traded places on offense and defense. The pair sparred no longer as adversaries, but as allies. Sifu approved. Very good, he commented. When the exam was done, Dad hugged Julie. Tiger, you look great in orange, Mom remarked, but it's too bad that Master Zhao is going back home today. Yes, but before she leaves, Master Zhao has some presents for Julie and Brandon, mentioned Sifu. The wise woman grinned. Your Sifu is lucky to have students like you. Then Mr. Fong escorted her outside. Julie opened her box and discovered a familiar-looking piece of jewelry. Hey, wait a minute, 
laughed Julie in disbelief, holding her new belt and gift. She ran toward the door and into the sunlight beyond. So this Master Zhao is the same master in the movie. This says, the belt of fire, true Julie, keep flying high, Master Zhao. Now, before we close the book, let's think, what was the solution of the story? What was the solution of the story? Take a look at these last, last couple pages. Once you have it in your head, you can write it down on your paper. So I'm noticing, when I'm thinking about the solution of the story, that in the middle, Brandon and Julie didn't want to work together at all. They were very competitive, and they were competing with each other. Now, at the end of the story, they're working together, and look at their faces. They look much more confident, and they are performing much better than they were before. So the solution of the story is that Brandon and Julie learned how to work together instead of trying to beat one another. They focused on themselves, and because they made themselves better, they were able to work better as a team. Now that we have the solution, we can think about how does Julie feel at the end of the story? See. So I'm seeing that Julie looks confident, she looks proud, she's standing up straight and tall, ready to fight, she's not nervous at all before her big fight, just like she was before, and she looks like she's having fun. And then she goes to hug her dad, and she looks like she has a really happy face on. And I can tell that she's proud because she earned her new belt. She's got the orange one on, and she's holding her old yellow one in her hand. So my friends, we thought about all of our story elements, and we thought about how the how the main character, Julie, was feeling at the beginning, middle, and end of the story. So your job right now is to flip your paper over and um, answer the question on the, for the exit ticket. So the exit ticket asks you, how do Julie's feelings change throughout the story? You need to use evidence from the text. Um, and you need to say what caused those feelings to change. Now, I know that you don't have, some of you may and some of you may not have the text in front of you. You can always replay this video so that you can see what happened in the text, or you can look in your, the folder that you found the exit ticket and your assignment, because there will be a copy of the book there as well. Um, I will also put up a chart at the end of this video so that can help you write your exit ticket. And that is what I will do for the majority of the videos after this one. So thank you for watching this first video. We miss you all and we hope that you are having fun at home and growing your brains as much as possible. See you tomorrow guys.